Well done into the last four. I'd imagine the second half performance pleased you. Uh, so so, I thought. <laughs> more than the first. Than the first. <laughs> That's what I try to say. We can't. We haven't played that badly since I've been here. Uh, since I've been back here, and um, we've actually played a lot, lot better than that in lost games. So we were fortunate at halftime that they didn't maybe take some of the chances. That it was nil nil was the only plus of the first half. Made three subs, could have made seven, eight, nine. Um, Fortunately, at the minute, we can make more subs, so I could make three and hold a couple back, but it needed a change from the players, and uh, subs changed, it was better. Subs changed it, and it was better, but um, not good enough first half. So what do you say to the players at that time? I know you're making the changes, you can you can regenerate the side, but what do you tell them? Well, the first rules of football were urgency, and you know, getting close to people, and running, and recovering, and sprinting across, and sprinting back was not jogging. So if you, if you don't do that, you can't compete in any way, shape, or form. And we had too many touches, we were too slow. We were chipping balls to each other. We took three touches when we take, should take one or two. And um, our game needs to be brighter than that. We, we come off a really positive game against Manchester City where we worked so hard off the ball, did all the sprinting I'm talking about. When we had chances to attack, we attacked with pace and quality. And it was nowhere in the first half. In the second half, there were glimpses of it. And um, uh, I'm obviously delighted we're through. And it's a, it's a big sign for us. If we turn up like that again in games to come, no chance. We got lucky today. We see that message. The, the changes and the drinks breaks, they do add a new dimension. It gives you a chance to get into the team. Yeah, yeah, no, it does. It does. It's helpful. Um, it's been helpful. It was helpful against City because it gives you a moment, the players, when, you, when things are not quite going. Um, it might work against us at times, you know, who knows. But I do think uh, from our point of view, it's nice to be able to get into them. How long it stays, I don't know. But while they're there, you use them. And although you're, you're not pleased with some of the aspects of the performance, the result, of course, you're through to the semi-finals with Arsenal, Manchester United, and you'll find out your opponents in the draw later this mm. evening. I mean, it's a good achievement. You, you, the end of the season is, is looking very promising. Yeah, yeah, no, I am. I'm sorry if I sound a little bit too down, but I can only say it as I saw the game. But I'm very happy, yeah, of course, we're in the semi-final. That's where we want to be, a trip to Wembley against, you know, whatever is going to be a strong opponent, whoever it is. Um, so, yeah, good. I mean, these games are all like the, the young the, the players that came off are young lads. They're going to be top players for this club and top players in their own careers. It's not, it's not a big slant. These games can happen. I'm fortunate that we haven't had those negative, lethargic performances much. We've had different issues about in-game, but um, we haven't had that. But, yeah, um, I'll be positive. Tomorrow we'll wake up. If there are things to address, we do it. We have to be positive because the game's come around too quickly at the minute. Thanks very much. Frank. Thank you. Cheers, Des. Thanks.